Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Skewness is over. Now we are entering into new chapter that is correlation analysis. Correlation. So far we have discussed about one variable. When one type of variable is given, how to calculate mean, median, mode, standard deviation. Okay. So all these things how to calculate we have seen. If two variables are given, two variables, what is the correlation between these two variables that we are going to discuss in this correlation chapter. For example, uh, husband's age and wife age, one variable he has taken, one variable, 10 members, 10, uh, 10 members of husband and 10 wives. So, their correlation, their age. How is the correlation? Is it good or bad or uh, negative? Correlation here will have only uh, analysis three parts only. One is positive correlation means there is a good correlation. Negative correlation there is no means negatively there is a correlation and zero correlation means no correlation at all. In three ways we can find out this correlation. As I told you husband age and wife age father's height and son's height correlation and in the same way uh, supply demand correlation distribution and demand correlation like any two variables we can take and we can uh, find out the correlation between these two variables it's very easy to calculate also just you need to focus some time now, in correlation analysis, different topics we are going to discuss. The first one is that Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. Carl Pearson, once again he has come, we have seen Carl Pearson in standard deviation. Then after that, Carl Pearson in uh, skewness. Now, Carl Pearson is in correlation, okay? Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. This is the first topic we are going to discuss. Then after that, second one is rank method. By giving rank also we can uh, go for calculation of correlation. Third method is concurrent deviation method, plus or minus, minus sinus we can, signs we can give. So through this we can go for concurrent deviation method. Next one is method of least square. So this is different method. Anyway, four methods we are going to discuss in correlation analysis chapter. Quite easy, need not to worry. Shall we go for first method, Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation, we can calculate when two variables are given. Like here, two variables are given, x is given, y is given, two variables. x is some data, y some other data. Between these two, we wanted to find out the correlation. Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation, there are two methods. One is actual mean method, assume mean method. If you go for actual mean method, the formula is this one. R means correlation, small r. R is correlation. R is equal to sigma xy by root of sigma x square into sigma y square. Able to remember? Once again, say along with me. R is equal to sigma xy by root of sigma x square into sigma y square simple formula. So, this is actual mean. If you go for assume mean method, formula is very lengthy, but easy to remember. I will tell you how. So, r is equal to sigma dx into dy, dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy by n. Separately, we are taking here dx dy total together. Now, here sigma dx into sigma dy by n divided by root of this is almost just like uh, standard deviation formula only. Here root of sigma dx square in standard deviation by n, here it is not there. Sigma dx square minus sigma dx by n whole square. Here you can find n. If you know this, this is quite easy. What we have done here? Root of sigma dx square minus sigma dx by n whole square. In the same way here, rather than x, we are going to put y root of sigma dy square minus sigma dy by n whole square. So, formula is lengthy, but assume mean, any number you can assume and you can go ahead. One more important thing, please, please remember, 
in exam when they ask you to calculate correlation carl pearson's correlation they never ask you to follow either <coughs> excuse me either actual mean or assumed mean any method you can follow whether this or this any method you follow unless it is mentioned very clearly that calculate carl pearson's coefficient of correlation in assumed mean then this as per actual mean then this method otherwise not required <coughs> you can go any method am i clear now we will take out one problem we will see today only the actual mean method formula is also quite easy sigma x y by root of sigma x square into sigma y square that is all now data is given to us x and y as per the formula we need sigma x y means small x small y sigma x square and sigma y square x is given we have to first out find out first x small x then x square small y y square then x into y small x into small y multiplication these are the columns we required as per the formula <coughs> so first we will go for small x <laughs> one minute i will take a water nowadays my throat is struggling anyway now as per the formula we need first small x small x square small y small y square and x into y together these are the columns first let us focus on the small x how to calculate small x this is as per the actual mean ok small x you will get it by x minus x bar x minus x bar if you are going for assume mean x minus a here we are going for actual mean so x minus x bar means we need first x bar this is individual series how to calculate x bar x bar is equal to sigma x by n sigma x means total of this 162 by number of observations how many are they 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so you will get x bar in the same way here also we need y bar y bar is equal to sigma y by n sigma y is total of this 171 number of observations are 9 so you will be getting sigma x and sigma y x bar and y bar so 162 divided by 9 it comes to 18 18 is the x bar in the same way 171 divided by 9 it is 19 19 is y bar I will write it here x minus x bar is <coughs> x bar is 18 hither yaha here y minus y bar y bar is here 19 x minus x bar x is here 6 6 minus 18 we will do the calculations 6 minus 18 it comes to 12 8 minus 18 10 12 minus 18 oh uh, yeah 6 minus 8 means this is minus no minus value anyway we are going to multiply this 12 minus 18 minus 6 15 minus 18 3 minus 3 18 minus 18 0 20 minus 18 2 24 minus 18 6 28 minus 18 10 31 minus 18 2 10 12 13 yes now x is where 12 12 is a 144 10 100 6 is the 36 3 3 is a 9 4 36 100 13 13 I have to see 169 so as per as per the formula what we need this total we want and also y square we need and x y so this total also let me work out 169 plus 136 140 
140 and 140 240 288. 597, 598 it comes total. In the, in the, in the same way, we will go for y, y minus y bar. Here 10, 10 minus 19 comes to minus 9, 12 minus 19, minus 7, 15 minus 19, minus 4, minus 4, minus 1, 25 minus 19, it is uh, 6. 22 minus 19, 3, 26 minus 19, 7, 28 minus 19 comes to 28 minus 19, it is 9, yes, now y square, 81, 49, 16, 16, 1, uh, 36, 9, 9, 81. This total we need. 81 plus 49 plus uh, 16 plus 16 plus 37, 36, 36 46. It comes to 338. Now, x, y, small x into small y, we have to do the calculations. Minus 12 into minus 9, 12 into 9 comes to 108. These two, okay. Minus 10 into minus 7, 70. Minus into comes to, minus into minus comes to plus, okay. And uh, 6 for the 24 and 3 4 the 12 here this is 0 okay and uh, 6 2 the 8 okay, 6 2 the 12 uh, 6 3 is the 18 10 into 7 70 13 into 9 1 1 7 we total this 108 plus 70 plus 24 plus 12 plus this is 30, 30, 70, 117 comes to this is uh, 431. Calculations we have done. Now just apply in the formula. What is the formula? Uh, R is equal to sigma x y by root of sigma x square into sigma y square. This is the formula. Okay, sigma x y x y is four thirty one by sig root of sigma x square. X square is five ninety eight into sigma y square. Y square is here three thirty eight. There is nothing. Simply you have to focus on the table apply it in the formula. Let us do this calculations, uh, 431 as it is, if you multiply this 598 into 338 comes to root of 2,2124. If we remove the root, how much it comes? 449, 449.5. Point 58. So now 43, <coughs> 43 divided by 449.58, uh, which comes to 0 0.09, 0 0.095. 95 means 96 we can take. That's it. This is the answer. If you want, you can take a screenshot.
hope it is clear <coughs> just to check out the calculations and you have to work out this problem now here we are applying uh, somewhere it's gone 431 no when it comes to here i have taken 430 only where is one one is here now if we calculate it once again 431 divided by 449.58 it comes to 0 0.95 958 means 96 we can take so shall i give you recap there is nothing to worry Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation, two methods, one is actual mean or assumed mean. We have seen today actual mean, actual mean formula is this one. So if you know the formula, just opening the columns, what is required? X square, Y square. To know the X square, Y square, first of all we need X small x, so X, X square, Y, Y square, then X into Y. How do you get X? X minus X bar, X bar we have calculated x minus x bar and x square we have done and here also y square y is required y how do you get y y minus y bar y bar is we got it here so you got y y square then x into y we have done and the formula is very simple applied over the problem is over very simple and in exam if they don't ask you to follow as you mean method better to go for this method only <coughs> formula is easy calculations also easy okay stay connected i'm getting cuff see you in the next class good luck